Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday and thank you so much for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today on the channel we're heading back to the cartoon collection for Wave 2 for the next figure and that of Tila. We'll look at her in the packaging. Uh, we'll look at all her items she comes with. Uh, the comic that she comes with as well. Uh, the artwork as well uh, from the from the back of the, of the packaging. Uh, we'll compare this version of Tila here, the cartoon collection or filmation style collection. Uh, figure of Tila from her Super 7 version and uh, we'll compare her to some of the other loose uh, Tila uh, Origins figures that I have in my collection guys and see the differences okay so here we go guys we have the 80s logo right there and 80s adventures you got the He-Man the Master Universe filmation style uh, logo blasting from above right there this beautiful bluish starry sky with purple you have the filmation style gray skull right there. And unfortunately, I will not be unboxing this version of Tila just yet. So stay tuned to my channel, guys, for an upcoming unboxing of her. So there's the figure itself right there. A nice close glamour shot of her right there in the packaging. The cartoon collection, or what I like to say, the filmation style version of Tila from Origins right here. around the back for some beautiful artwork right there and her her extra item right there that's part of the filmation cartoon is her training robot right there of course this particular robot was seen on the pawns of the pawns of the game master if you wish to check it out of course, the cross cell of the other figures right here, as you can see. And I've done a review for Trap Jaw on my channel. If you'd like to go back and check that out. And hopefully very soon we'll be getting Stratos and Merman. Merman looks really good. I cannot wait to look at Merman up close. Alright. And of course, her items she comes with. Flip it back around. Here's your you know standard filmation type sword we see him with her on filmation right there there's a training robot right there and of course her iconic shield that she used when she was training Adam right there or or just training with her father uh, Duncan or man-at-arms the art there's the comic right there it comes with right there. I love the head sculpt right there it looks amazing it looks right out of filmation they did I think the head sculpt looks absolutely incredible. Attila right there. Alright. And this is what she looked like in, in the Super 7 version right here. And this is her Super 7 version right there, guys. You see the suit, you know, the new cartoon collection uses a lot of the same, like, items or weapons for their uh, box art or for their uh, figures. Because there's her sword right there. And her shield. There's her figure right there. There she is, front to back. Side to side. All right, now, I gotta say, this new version here, with, now her chest piece right here, um, you can remove it, okay? You can be removed to show a one-piece white uh, jumpsuit or bikini, if you wish to call it like that. Um, so you can remove, you can pop the head off right here, sorry. You can pop the head off and you can pop the arms off and this golden uh, top right here can be removed, but I would be very careful, okay? It's, it has this gummy plastic uh, feel to it and so it might rip. So it's, it does, you can remove it. I've seen videos on it and I'm sure you guys have maybe, uh, have seen them too. So I would just be very, very, just be very, very careful um, if you do want to remove the, um, her armor, I guess off of her um it, it, you can't it can be removed unless they fix that um and because I'm, I'm not too sure once um i get my second version of tila and we'll do the unboxing we'll try it then but if you do have you know this version of tila in coming and you want to try it out uh just be very careful because it looks like it might rip i would not recommend doing it you know um a whole lot um just because um it might tear at some point with the figure 
But yes, I did see videos. I'm sure you guys have seen it too. That this golden piece right here, you know, can be removed once you pop the arms off and the head off. It can be removed. Um, but I would just be very, very careful when you do that. Okay. Absolutely amazing right there. Of course, let's get some of her original Origins figures out next to her. Of course, I have Wave 1, Tila, right here. And there she is. You can see a totally different head sculpt right there from her Wave 1, or more of her iconic 80s version right there. All right. Then we have her two pack with Zor that she came with. So I have that version right here. I hope she doesn't fall over. There we go. So there you go. So there's filmation right there. And there's her two pack with that Zor, with the Zor uh, Falcon. Now, I'm not too sure. I don't think the TRR, her little crown right there, can be removed. Um, if you do have this loose version of this particular Tila in your collection, uh, let me know in the in the comments below if that TR or her crown right there can be removed from her, her hair. You see the differences in the shield as well. You know, more of the iconic 80s version right there from Wave 1 Origins. So her standard right there from Filmation. See the more updated knees right there, knee sculpts from her Wave 1 version. And I really hope, like I said, you know, if, if they continue with this Filmation, I mean, sorry, this fan favorite uh, line, I hope we do, unless they already did that, and let me know, I'm not too sure, if they do an updated version of this version of Tila um, in, you know, in the Wave 1 uh, uh updated kneecaps right here for the wave one tila but i guess by now you know with all these different versions of tila we've gotten uh you might just make your own version of tila see the different boot scopes right there you can see this version of tila here kind of it's almost let me get this this one right out of here real quick so you can see this version right here of tila has almost the same type of if i can just make it focus right there it's almost similar to the ones right here from her uh, two-pack right here with the white, you know, fur right there on her top of her boots right there. Of course, there's her training robot once again. Of course, you know, Tila and Trapjaw share the same comic, guys. So when we do get eventually Stratos and Merman, they should get their own unique comic for the both of them, Okay. Of course, mine's unpunched. And I'm trying to keep a, for my cartoon collection, I'm trying to do a, a full unpunched version in my collection. So, so far, so good. I've gotten all um, unpunched versions of the of the cartoon collection figures. And I'm trying my best to get the uh, Turtle for Grayskull uh, unpunched as well. I'm trying to do that, you know, keep an unpunched versions. And like I said before, if you wish to create your ultimate Tila in your loose collection, you can, you know, swap out parts if you wish. If you wish to keep this more iconic version, you know, and swipe out the part, the head right here of this filmation or cartoon version of Tila and put it on this body, I, I think you can, it just should be no problem doing that. And vice versa, if you want to give, you know, this particular head sculpt or even this head sculpt too, you know, of Tila. Or if you wish to... I don't know, if you wish to remove this armor here, you know, from this from the vintage or the filmation style Tila and give her more of her iconic, you know, snake armor and, and you can wish if you want to do that and you can. Um, I don't think you can do that with the golden armor on top of her with this version. I think it gets in the way with the collar right there. You might be able to do it putting the snake armor, you know, the classic snake armor of Tila on you know this version of filmation style tila no side here no side shot right there 
one more shot of the back art once again. And I can't wait to check out this. I'm thinking about getting that that uh, the uh, the new art book coming out very soon. It has all the Origins artwork and Masterverse artwork um, in that uh, new book that's coming out very soon. From I think you can pre-order at Big Back Toy Store, and I can't wait. I might get that. You know, check it out because I gotta say that you know Origins and Masterverse do an absolutely amazing job in their art department here. Got He Man in the background right there. In fact, I, I don't remember watching this episode. I might have to go back and check it out. All right. So, like I said, if you, I, I, so stay tuned to the channel too. Oops. Stay tuned to the channel too, guys, because once I do get my second version of Tila, like Trapjaw, you know, I will be doing a, a full unboxing with you guys. On my channel, I just got notification that my Skeletor from the cartoon collection from Way One is just about to ship out. So I'll be getting him very soon to do an unboxing with you guys, and it's been a lot of fun doing those unboxings with you guys. You know, and, and uh, checking it out much closely with you guys. So there you go, guys. Once again, there's a couple of versions of Tila from the Origins line. Her eyes look absolutely amazing. Alright, there you go guys. So there you go guys, there's a look at Wave 2 Tila from the Filmation Style cartoon. Alright guys, let me take, take the time now to thank my subscribers. If you made it this far in the video and have not subscribed, please subscribe guys. I love talking with you guys all things Masters of the Universe. Like the Vintage Origins line here now, to the Cartoon Collection, to the Masterverse line, to the CGI line. And hit that like button guys, and thank you for doing that guys, for hitting that like button. It means a lot, so thank you so much for hitting that like button. Um, it helps my channel get out there and to grow, for hopefully for more people to watch my, my videos, and hope to subscribe. So thank you so much again, guys. And hit that notification bell when you know upload new videos. And tomorrow we'll be heading back to the w the Masters of the WWE Universe, Wave 5. I'm not too sure if we're going to be doing Roddy Roddy Piper or Ricky the Dragon Steamboat on the channel tomorrow on Thursday. So just stay tuned for that and thank you for watching. Um, hit that notification bell. I'm sorry. Yeah, when you know upload new videos. I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry, guys. Uh -huh. And uh, share this video, guys. My apologies. Share this video, guys, who has a passion and a love for collecting all things Masters of the Universe, like the original Origins line here, to the new cartoon co uh, collection now, or Filmation-style collection, uh, to the Turtles of Grayskull, to the 80s line, to the classics, to the Super 7, you know, to 2000X, to Mondo, to Funko. And, and I was, I, and it was what's funny, and I think I've said this before, that there is no Tila Funko Pop yet. Maybe there will be one very soon. Uh, but I can't find one online. If there is one, uh, let me know. For as far as, you know, for a Funko Pop in the World of the Master Universe line, there is no Tila, which is kind of weird to me because being an iconic character and hero, you know, of the Master, a well known character, you know, a very beloved character, that you would think that she would have her own Funko Pop. And she does not, which is kind of weird to me. Unless I unless I can't find it, and it's very rare, um, a very very rare collectible in the world of Funko um, of a Tila figure, um, so yeah, which is kind of weird. But anyways, I'm sorry, but you know, once again, guys, share this video for anybody who has a passion and a love for anything, for all things, for over 40 plus years of this amazing product that gets getting better and better with the filmation style. I've been absolutely loving the style. I cannot wait for more figures for like Merman, like I said. You know, all like Ram Man and, you know, um, Merman, I mean, sorry, Merman and Stratos. Uh, Buzz Off would be probably another one. Looks amazing. It would be really cool. So I cannot wait, guys. Even the Turtles of Grayskull, I'm very, you know, intrigued and interested in how far this wave's going to go or line's going to go with the Turtles of Grayskull. Because pretty much we have three basic, or maybe four now with the Masterverse line, 
coming out now. So it's going to be really, you know, this year is going to be really crazy to see who's going to come out on top as the best uh, line here. And what is your best? going to be your, you know, your best line you think is going to be coming out on 2024. You know, you think it's going to be the Master First line, the new Revolution show, is going to be the new cartoon collection, or the Turtles of Grayskull. And I know we do have a few vintage cart, I mean, vintage Origins line coming very soon, like, you know, um, Cyclone and Extendar. Uh, I think some of the Snake Men are still coming out with the, uh, at some point, that uh, Serpent's Lair. Even the even Eternia should be coming out very soon this year in, in the spring. So it's going to be an amazing year, guys, and I cannot wait to join you and 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 show you and, and, and we can review it and look at it together and have a lot of fun. So, guys, I hope you guys and gals have a great Wednesday, and I'll see you guys on Thursday. Take care, guys, and have a good one.